What's going on guys, Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. Right now it's currently about half 12 and we're outside Legends Gym about to go in. We're drinking our BCAs. I just have my creatine. Today's workout is gonna be very simple, but very, very effective. I believe, personally, there's only three main exercises you need to be doing to gain a lot of size on your chest and that's what I'm trying to do. I need to be doing a lot of exercises that are gonna gain me some mass. So three exercises I'm gonna be doing today are flat bench bench press, incline dumbbell press and flat bench dumbbell flies. Reason being is because all these other like isolation exercises, they're good for like really shaping the muscle, but for the mass, you need to be doing a lot of heavy presses. I don't know what it is. I know, I know flies are like more for shaping, but if you do flat bench dumbbell flies heavy enough, I feel like that can gain some good mass too. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to be doing eight sets on every single exercise. So eight sets, three times. We're going to be decreasing two reps each set. So we're gonna be going from 20 all the way to six, increasing the weight as we go. That's what we're doing today. We go now, get a pre-workout. Let's go. Right, so we just got in the gym. Set number one is gonna be with 60 kg on the bar, 20 reps, let's go. So set number two, we're gonna have five kg each side to the bar, so we're gonna be adding 10 kg to the bar together. We'll keep on increasing the bar by 10 kg each set, and then we can't do any more. So we'll try and get the reps out. Let's go, set number two. Right, well, so set number three, adding another five kg each side. So 16 reps with 80 kg on the bar. That set of 16 reps with 80 kg was so hard. So we're gonna stick on 80 kg now, go 14 reps. Might increase the weight for 12 reps for set number five. It's a 90 kg, we'll stick on 90 kg. And then set number seven and eight with eight reps and six reps. We might go to 100 kg. Go on, brother. Let me know if you need a spot, mate. Right, so as you can see, I couldn't get that eight reps with 100 kg. Set number seven killed me, but we've got set number eight now. We're gonna try to get six reps with 100 kg for the final set. And then we're going on to incline, dumbbell press, final set. Let's go. Mr. Probs, last step. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you pussy. Come on. First exercise finished, flat bench. We're done. Now, incline, dumbbell press, eight sets. Starting off with 20 reps, all the way down to six reps again. And then we've got flat bench, dumbbell flies to finish off. Let's do this. Okay, so we just finished the second exercise. Now we're gonna go on to exercise number three, which is gonna be flat bench, dumbbell flies. But on the last set of incline dumbbell press, I've only gone and cracked my phone screen. Cracking my phone screen is the most annoying thing ever because I got it repaired like three weeks ago and it's already cracked. <laughs> Do 
just finished the workout, had an amazing workout, kept it really basic, but right now, we're gonna go to the shop and get some food because I'm bulking now and I don't have enough food in the house to eat and to prep for the next few days. And honestly, like, I'm probably eating like anywhere from 4,000 to 5,000 calories. When I get my mass gaining shake, I'll be eating 6,000 calories. It sounds like a lot, 6,000 calories seems really overwhelming. In the mass gaining shake that I get, which is instant mass by Reflex, there's 1,160 calories in, in every shake. And because I'm bulking, I'm having three shakes a day in the morning after my workout and before I go to bed. So I'm having 3,480 calories a day just from shakes. So having like 3,000 calories in food as well as that isn't that hard. And that's what I do to bulk. Like I'm gonna gain a lot of fat on my face and in places that I probably don't wanna gain it, but to sacrifice for the future, we need to get fat <laughs> to get big, but it'd be worth it in the end. So right now we're gonna go to the shop. It's really handy because the car is literally a 30 second drive from the gym. Okay, so first off, we get some lean beef mince. This will probably last for about four meals, and red meat is best to have after a workout, so we're gonna get some of this. Secondly, we're gonna get some long grain white rice. Now, the reason I'm getting long grain instead of short grain is because short grain rice is very starchy and leaves you very bloated. That's why it's kind of bad to like eat too much pasta when bulking because you feel like you just feel bloated all the time. Like, starch is actually quite bad for you, so I'd recommend if you're gonna eat a lot of rice, if you're gonna try and bulk up a lot long grain white rice is your best bet i was having basmati rice but that's for cutting there's not many carbs in basmati rice and you can't really bulk on it which is what i was trying to do for the first week but i spoke to a friend and he recommended me to get long grain white rice so this is what we're getting now we get some chicken we get two packets so four breasts all together all we have to get now is some vegetables and some spices now i hate adding greens to my meals but they're so like nutritionally valuable that you need to be having greens with your meals you just have to like and i hate doing it but if you're gonna do it my favorite greens to add to the meals are just basic green beans spinach leaves and asparagus and if you steam it all and add some spices it's not that bad it's just not that good i'm gonna pick up some avocados too just for like some necessary fats and they're just good for you so now one of my favorite spices to add to pretty much everything i've got in the basket right now is the old al paso fajita smoky barbecue packet mixes they're quite high in sodium but if adding spices to your meals makes it a lot easier for you to eat then you're probably better off doing that Okay guys, so I'm gonna head home now and cook my meals for the next few days. All that food will probably last me like two and a half days, maybe three days at a stretch with some food, like some tins of tuna and stuff that I got at home. But all that came to like 16 pound 50. Now on average, if I don't eat meals out and I only eat home cooked meals that I cook myself, I'm gonna be spending about 50 or 60 pound on food each week. Now it sounds like a lot, but if you add up how many times you might go out and eat and spend like 10 pound on one meal when I just spent 16 pound on about maybe 10 meals, maybe even 12 meals, it works out a lot cheaper than you may think. So that's how much it costs. I could have bought it wholesale. It's gonna be a lot more expensive actually, the fact that I went to Corp to buy it. If I went to B&M Meat, which is the place that I recorded in my last video, it's gonna be a hell of a lot cheaper. Five kg of chicken for only 20 pound. Now in there, it's probably double. So if you go and buy your meat and your rice and your eggs and all that kind of thing in bulk, it's gonna be a lot cheaper and you're gonna be spending under 200 pound a month on food. So that's what I recommend to do if you're trying to bulk up. That's my basic grocery haul. I'm gonna head back now, prep this and yeah. Honestly, the amount you need to mentally psych yourself up to take some of these thumbnails, it's ridiculous. Like who does a front double bicep in front of the cooperative? Like, who does that? There were so many people watching, some guys were clapping like it was crazy, but I'm gonna head back now, cook this food so I can show you how many meals it will make and how far it will go. Okay guys, so I've got all the food laid out right in front of me. I'm gonna prep all of this. I've added two tins of tuna. You can get three tins pretty much anywhere for a pound, so it's like, it's not much more expense added to what I already bought, but this is all the food that I got. We got our green vegetables, our spinach, our asparagus, and our green beans, two packets of chicken, two breasts in each packet, 12% fat beef mince with our long grain rice and two tins of tuna. Let's cook this and see how far it goes. I prefer to cut my chicken into little chunks like this because it makes it a lot easier to cook and it also cooks a lot faster. Okay guys, we just finished cooking all the food. It only filled about 10 parts, so that's just me like miscalculating things, but it will still feed me for about 
just over two days, so we're still fine. These are all the meals here. We've got approximately 150 grams of chicken in each one of these and 140 grams of mince with about 180 grams of rice in each pot with a handful of vegetables. There's a tin of tuna in each one of these and I ran out of rice, so I don't have any more rice to put in them. So I'm gonna cook these sweet potatoes for eight minutes in the microwave and then add it to that. So these are the meals I'm gonna be eating for the next two and a bit days. But I think that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is definitely far from an if it fits your macros sort of diet. I'll definitely try that sort of thing in the future and especially now I'm bulking I've got a lot of time to like experiment with things I'm not worrying about cutting down I've got a lot of time to learn on this off season so I'm definitely going to be trying if it fits your macros maybe for a month or so or like two months just to see how that sort of thing will affect me because right now I'm going to stick with what we know this is the way I've done things for the past three years and I've managed to achieve what I have not saying what I have achieved is a great deal but it's going to be where I've got in the past three years so I think that's it for today's video guys I really hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy this video give it a like if you learned something give it a like if you haven't already please subscribe I'll see you in the next video